This coal mine has been abandoned for almost 12 years. Located in Rhode Island, this place hasn't seen human contact in many years, although it has seen a variety of wildlife, such as this fug ugly croc, a notable death bringer in the area that harbors certain doom. This is Prestosuchus, and it has become the new apex predator of this area. And living alongside it is the engine Caprosuchus. We've covered the Biosyn variant of this species before, but the engine kind is a lot different. Notably, it's a lot smaller, but its attitude is also much different too. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but first I want to talk about how these two creatures live in the same environment when they're roughly the exact same animal in some aspects. Or at least at first glance, they are. Let's start off by talking about the Caprosuchus, who as you can see, see is a much more nimble climber. When it hunts smaller mammals, it usually sticks up to the trees in higher parts of the area so it can leap down on them like a leopard. Meanwhile, the Prestosuchus likes to stick to the ground, although it is also an ambush predator. You might notice the weirdly large nose on the Prestosuchus, which also helps it hunt. While it might not look like the cutest thing ever, these large nose horns are actually sensors that help it detect things from miles away. Much like how modern crocs have sensors in their nose to detect movement in the water, these sensors detect movement in the air, making them much more efficient. In fact, the reason we see it opening its mouth here is because it's using those sensors right now. A subtle buck moose is about to meet its maker by the hands of the crocodile. It's over quickly, and the Prestosuchus now has a full course meal in front of it. Poor Buck never stood a chance. While the Prestosuchus eats its meal, we'll cut over to the Caprosuchus again to see what it eats. Many people have had the image of a Caprosuchus being a very vicious and fast killer, which is partially true, and it can do that with its very large teeth. However, it more likes the roots of plants. Just like a real boar, the Caprosuchus seems to be an opportunist, eating whatever it feels necessary to keep itself alive. Roots are very sparse here, but whenever it can smell one out, the croc will gladly dine into it. But again, due to the fact that this used to be a mine, there is very little plant life here. So, the Caprosuchus might have to go to something else. With that in mind, the boar croc decides that maybe this area is not that great. But with the smell of rotting flesh in the air, it seems there's something out there that could use its attention. Finally, we can see what happens when these two animals collide. Two of the most famous prehistoric crocodiles to ever exist, living in the same area, wanting the exact same food. By sheer intimidation alone, the Caprosuchus wins the battle. While Prestosuchus is technically stronger, the Caprosuchus' bigger teeth especially serve as a huge intimidation factor, no pun intended. And now it can peacefully dine on something a little bit more fruitful than just pure vegetation. And with that being said, that's all I have to show for in this video. I appreciate you all for watching this special double episode, and remember, if something chases you, run.